Oh, what's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Mariner E, coming at you with a movie review. And the movie we're going to be talking about is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Now, before we get started, what do Space Jam, Space Jam New Legacy, Looney Tunes Back in Action, and, yeah, I think that's all, oh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit have in common? Now, I don't know. All those movies have in common is that those movies have cartoons in them and they have like with Roger Rabbit you had cartoons living amongst humans and also it was a same animation so whatever character they had it was the same animation for that character now some they did a little bit different and the reason why I bring that up is because there's one movie that trumps even Roger Rabbit and Roger Rabbit was a really good movie and that movie is Chip and Dale now Let's talk about kind of the plot of Chip and Dale first. So the plot is kind of, you know, it is a little bit kind of, you know, simplistic, but it was fine. And what it is is Chip and Dale, you know, they're best friends, you know, they met each other. They're both chipmunks and basically they're running this show. And what happens is, you know, they get into this kind of breakup because, you know, Dale wants to be, he wants to follow, you know, more opportunities for himself. So he ends up, you know, going off the wooden path and Chip's not happy about it. So we go to the present and basically what happens is, is their friend, Mon Monterey Jack, and I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but Monterey Jack has gotten himself into, you know, a little bit of cheese trouble. He's eaten more than he could pay. And basically what happens is, is he's like, if I don't get this money, this gang is going to come and get me kidnap me, and basically turn me into my worst nightmare, a bootleg of myself. And yes, all the cartoon's fears are being, you know, their fear is being made like a bootleg, basically. So that's kind of a plot, and they're trying to save, find where this gang is, and save their friend Monterey Jack. Now, like I said, the plot was a little simplistic for me, but that's, that's fine, because these next two things... Icing on the cake. So the first thing is, is with Chippendale, the animation style. I'm sure y'all have seen this in the trailers, if y'all haven't seen. The animation style for Chippendale, first of all, the characters kind of look like a 3D model of themselves as the cartoon versions. Now, I have to say, and some of y'all might be like, what? Millionaire E? I have not seen Chippendale. The show. The closest I saw it was, I think, when they made, like, I guess like an appearance in DuckTales. Other than that, I have never seen the show, and I was like, hey, this looks cool, let me try it. So, I do know the characters you've got, Monterey Jack, Chip and Dale, of course, Zippy, and Gadget. But, other than that, I didn't know any of it. So, as I was saying, the animation is kind of like a 3D model of their original cartoon characters. But see, that's not all. The thing is, Dale, he gets like a CGI done, so he looks kind of like a CGI chipmunk. And also, speaking of chipmunks, they make references to like a whole bunch of animations. Well, first of all, a whole bunch of characters, which I'll tell you that, but the animation style changes literally as you watch. And what I mean changes, I mean you'll have like Chip and Dale, there'll be cartoon characters, CGI characters, there was a freaking puppet in it, played by Keegan Michael, I believe. And there's like sock puppet, claymation. It's CGI, the whole shebang. It's like different animation styles. And the characters, like one of the antagonists is a polar bear. It's a CGI polar bear. Then they got blue as like the CGI bear. And I'm like, that's, that's not even like the coolest part. It was kind of mind-boggling at first kind of weird to kind of get used to at first because it's like you're seeing like cartoon here and then you're seeing like a sock puppet like you literally there was a sock puppet popped out of nowhere and then you've got like you see a puppet you'll see cartoons then a puppet and I'm just like it's so weird but it was like super cool to see that now the second thing that I love in any type of movie as I have said you know Looney Tunes back in action Space Jam 2 and 1 which I know people didn't like Space Jam too, but even with Roger Rabbit was the amount of references in the movie with, you know, basically with, 
you know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you know that was Warner Brothers and Disney, so you saw a lot of Disney and Warner Brothers characters. With Space Jam, New Legacy, that was more of Warner Brothers was showing all their, you know, content, what they got. This movie... It, <laughs> let me just tell you. It was so much. I was like, I was sitting there watching movie, and I was like, oh, look at that, look at that. They made reference to Nickelodeon. They had freaking, like, literally in one part, we didn't see him, but we could tell. We saw Jimmy Neutron's wig, of course, his hair. We also saw Transformers, wreck -It, like, wreck -It Ralph, and not the character. We saw, like, his arm. We also saw, like, the wreck -It Ralph, the donut police from wreck -It Ralph. And it's like, I can go on, like, Skeletor, He-Man, and I think it's, if I'm pronouncing this right, Lumiere from, basically, he was from Beauty and the Beast. He was the candlestick. Now, I've missed, there's this one, this one reference that they made, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Ugly Sonic. Now, if some of y'all have never heard of Ugly Sonic before, I'll give y'all a little bit of, you know, information on it. Ugly Sonic was created when Sonic, the Sonic movie, if y'all know with Jim Carrey in it, came and they showed the trailer first. And they had the first design of Sonic. And he looked human and he was ugly. This man had teeth. And it was so ugly that the fans were like, hey, they made a petition to literally tell, you know, hey, redesign this face. So therefore, you know, we got the Sonic movie and we got Sonic 2. That's the redesigned version of Sonic. Ugly Sonic was the first. They have him in this movie. Like, literally. is this dude, he's got like a pot belly. <laughs> and it's just so hilarious because it's like, Dale's at this convention, and you've got Ugly Sonic, Lumiere. You even see, you don't see Kronk from Kronk's New Groove, but you can see pictures of Kronk. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. And even in the, fan, like, it's called FanCon, but even there, you get to see different sizes of anim animation. You also get to see a whole lot of different, like, cosplayers, too. Like, there was Pickle Rick. I saw George Jetson from the Jetsons, I believe. And I also, like, I saw Ash Ketchum as well. So I'm like... I'm already in love with this movie. And then, I didn't even tell you, the antagonist, as I said, was a polar bear. This bear, I believe, was the Coca-Cola bear, basically. He was a white polar bear, and he had, like, this red hood, and he was one of the antagonists. I'm not going to tell you who the actual antagonist is, if y'all, you know, figured it out by the trailers. And that's, that's another reason why I was, like, I felt like I kind of knew the story by the trailer. And that might be just on my part because, you know, I was watching the trailers and stuff, but it was a good movie. And the amount of references made in it, I, I love that. Like, and it wasn't even like, you know, you know how you, you got like with Warner Brothers, the Space Jam 2, how it was only talking about like Warner Brothers stuff or what they had. Disney like went beyond that. Like they showed references to things they had. And as I said, they made reference to Nickelodeon characters. And it's like, they even made reference, they had like a Nintendo, a Nintendo system that they showed. And then like at the end credits, I looked this up because I, I thought this was an actual thing. They were showing like these billboards and stuff and one billboard had all these Disney characters on it. And it was like Disney Fight Fest. And I looked it up and it was like, it was kind of like they were showing it was almost like a, a point to, you know, Smash Bros. So I'm like, first of all, the animation style crazy then the easter eggs icing on the cake and then also the movie was just funny in general like there was even like one part where you know they were like oh huh, we thought you know we thought that this was going to be so corny that they would figure this out and you know it was so corny that they didn't even know it and y'all get what i'm saying when you watch the movie you gotta watch it it's it's a good movie so let me tell you, I'm going to give you all my rating. So my rating for the story, I'd give it a 7 because I was like, it was good. It wasn't really, you know, I kind of knew what was going on, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I wanted to be surprised a little bit. Now, when it comes to the animation style, the animation style, I'll give it about an 8 because the only reason is, is it was quite weird to see 
you've got like an old set style of animation one side and then you've got like a CGI character talking to that person. So it was it was kind of mind boggling weird with the come when it comes to the Easter eggs though, I give it a 10 because this movie I love it. Like I, I'm like, I gotta get this on. And I don't know if y'all Disney Disney Corporation, if you're watching, yeah, I know. I'm like, it would be a crime to not put this movie on DVD because this movie was this movie was good. And like I said, I'll give it a 10 because I love the amount of Easter eggs in it. And there were so many other Easter egg points that I didn't even point out. Like they also made reference to the cats. The CGI, I think, uh theater thing cats i don't know about those were like cat people and stuff i didn't watch it though but it was so good now once y'all remember like the video share with your fam and if you're subscribed click that bell icon to be notified for more videos and i'll see y'all in the next video and what i want you to do in the comments if y'all seen this movie or going to see it and it i forgot to tell you i saw it on disney plus but i don't think it was in theaters i don't know but tell me in the comments what did y'all think about the movie? And also, Friday's video will be a little bit different because I'm going to Momocon. And it's my it's actually my first time going to Momocon. And I'm not doing anything. I'm just like, you know, the person just going. So it's going to be really exciting. And I'm going to do a video kind of maybe like Monday talking about like, oh, my experience. So remember y'all, I'll see y'all later, millionaires. Have a blessed day and bye y'all. See y'all later.